Hey guys and gals, friends of YouTube, Love to Fly Hellies here. Uh, got an unboxing I want to do. And I'm very, very excited about this plane. Uh, it's uh, made by SIG. It's called a Something Extra. And it is absolutely a fantastic flying little plane. Tell you a little short story about it. My friend, buddy, over at Huntsville, where we used to fly over the cow pasture, had one about five years ago. Uh, four or maybe four years ago but anyway he had it on an FM radio and he was new at the time and he would fly it I'd take it off for him he'd fly it and I'd land it uh, he had me land it one day and we was coming in on a glide path it was about 30 feet off the ground and all of a sudden we had some kind of signal interference and that little dude just went crazy and hit the ground and it was toast there was nothing left of it we tried to find another one for almost three years we looked everywhere, and the only thing you could get was a kit, a balsa kit that you had to build the, everything. We wanted an ARF. Um, SIG was out of stock for three years on this plane for whatever reason. And the other night, I just happened to pull up and uh, thumb through Tower Hobbies, and voila, there was the something extra. Tower Hobbies is now carrying SIG products. i got to tell you, this is probably one of the funnest little planes I have ever flown. It's a 46 size and probably the easiest plane I have ever landed in my life. It, it absolutely has no stall rate whatsoever. It just It's just amazing. I love this little dude. Had a ball flying it. We were just sick when we killed it and tore it all to pieces. Anyway, we ended up finding these. I called my friend Buddy that day. He went straight home and ordered him one <laughs> that night. Uh, and then I ordered mine a couple days later. And I got the last one of the green ones in stock for right now. They do still have some of the red ones at Tower Hobbies. Uh, I think it's $199, uh, and if you're a member, you get you know good coupons off of that, so I don't remember what I got off, $25, $30, but uh, anyway, uh, the SIG something extra, fantastic flying little airplane, flies great on a four-stroke, he had a, I forget what four-stroke he had on his, I'm putting a 62 four-stroke on mine, it uh, calls for a 52 to a 55, 54, four stroke, something, so I'm going to oversize just a little, but anyway, 46, 55, two stroke, would fly this thing fantastic. <coughs> um, let's see if we can get over here, of course you got your, got your typical manual, uh, SIG manuals are pretty good, I'm going to, I will say this, SIG manufacturing makes some very good kits and uh, very good products, their instructions are really easy to follow, they they give you good pictures and they also give you detail and paragraphs. Uh, it's not like one of these little China made where you get a couple pictures and you know, that's all you get. So it is a really good manual on this. Uh, but uh, anyway, and the plane comes packaged very well. Uh, everything is wrapped tightly in plastic. And it's even hard to get undone here. I got tape on it. Uh, it comes in a fairly heavy box and then that box comes packaged in another really really heavy uh, cardboard so I mean there was not even a ding in this box when I got it from UPS it took uh, took two three extra days to get this because we had a bad ice storm here in Little Rock Arkansas south of us and uh, UPS got jammed up down there and they had over a million packages held up uh, but these kits are built really well now just like any other kit there's wrinkles in the covering. I've, I've very seldom ever seen that. So the first thing you want to do, take your iron and your heat gun, pull the wrinkles out of it. It's already pre-cut for your glue spots. Uh, your hinges are not glued in. They're in there, but they're not glued, so you have to glue those. The, the holes are already pre-drilled, pre-marked for your control horns, and uh, makes it easier. So, let's see. And then here, let's get one of the wings out. It's got a big old wing on it. And I think that's why it's such a fun plane, why it flies so well. It's a, a really thick corded wing. It's uh, symmetrical. And uh, this dude just, I've never seen a plane float in like this thing. You can just hover it down like a Harrier almost every time. The bottom of it comes pre-checkered, green on the leading edge. The rest of it's checkered, black and white. Uh, top of it, this is the left wing. Top of it's got your decals already applied. All you gotta do is glue your hinge lines in. It's got massive uh, control surfaces, big old ailerons. Uh, they go all the way to the side of the fuselage, so this would this plane will 3D. Um, 
but anyway it, it's a super nice belt not much wrinkling on this very little I'm gonna take a little iron to some places and tack her down so um, let's see let me slide that back in here for now I am going to jump ahead I'm, I gotta finish my rifle 1M and once I finish that I mean you guys know I've got 10 planes or 10 or 11 sitting over here in the box is new and I want to get them all built and but this one's the next one going on the table because I cannot wait to get in the air and I've waited I've looked for it for over three years and now that I found it I can't stand it I can't wait we're not going to take this wing out because it's just the same as the other one it doesn't have the uh, something extra sticker on the right side uh, but it does have the, the trim scheme of the black and it's checkered on the bottom so but that's a that's a massive big old wing for a 46 size plane <coughs> a lot of lift on that little dude all right here's your rudder and there again you gotta you know glue your hinge line in the rudder has uh well actually the vertical fin has a base on the bottom of it a wide base and it's already cleaned off this glues on top of the horizontal stabilizer uh, which goes on first so it's a, it's a glue method but it's going to be a good stout one so there's that you know let's see get that out of here i'm just going to stick that right behind it <coughs> um, very nicely painted uh wheel pants with the sig signature on the side of them and i like these wheel pants it's, it's got where your axle goes but it also has the two holes where the bolts go through so these are good solid wheel pants i hate the ones you get you have to cut the holes out and everything it makes it a pain i'll lay that right there um, got our bag of goodies it's got a heavy nylon motor mount bolts to mount it on looks like three inch tires which is good uh, nice size fuel tank that'll be your fuel tank holder uh, it's got a pilot figure but i have a different pilot i'm going to put in it this is just your generic pilot from uh, like Tower Hobbies or anywhere else. But my my something extra is going to have a minion, a minion in disguise. He's got the purple on him, so we are uh, we're going to put him in there. See how he flies. I hope he's a good pilot. He's only got one eyeball, so he probably can't see very well. But we're going to try him anyway. Anyway, that's all your goodie packages, control horns. The clevises on these are metal. They're not plastic. Control horns are plastic, but they're real heavy. But you do have uh, metal clevises, which I like. Uh, you got your, your canopy that you have to glue or tape on, which will make it easy to put my pilot in there. And it's got a black outline around it, so we can use black uh, trim tape if we want to to tape that down. I'm not sure how they say to mount it. It may have screws with it. I'm not sure. But uh, And uh, the old something extra didn't have a cowl. It, it had the little panels come out to the side of the engine but the top and bottom was open. Well this new model comes with a really nicely painted cowl too so it matches. Um, and we got uh, see what we got here. Comes with a, a mounting box if you want to put electric on it. It comes with a box with electric motor and then it comes with a, a battery tray. It's probably a battery tray or a fuel tray, fuel tank for one of the two. And some triangle stock for something in there. So it does come with all of that. Aluminum uh, wing tube. It's a two piece wing, so it makes it easy to transport. It's got aluminum landing gear. I like them. They've got quite a bit of spring to them, and I like the, I like the way they're shaped. They're real wide, so that's going to make that plane real stable on the ground where it won't tip sideways real easy. So it's a wide landing gear. Uh, then we got control rods. And uh, link throttle linkage and, and your throttle linkage tube. Control rods are that heavy black. They're real, real stout. They don't bend very easy. They're like uh, 256, but they're really strong. It's that black material instead of the silver. Comes with your lock nuts, or not lock nuts, but just nuts, and you're threaded in for your clevises. And uh, all set up. And last but not least, this nice little fuselage. Holes are all cut out already in the side for your wing bolts. Uh, the canopy's open so you can put your pilot in there and uh, glue him in and then put your canopy over the top of that and then it opens up let's take this out right quick open that up 
When they got this sucker taped up, they don't want it coming apart. You can't go wrong with SIG products. They make very good aircraft. Of course, SIG's been around for years and years. They were probably one of the first, first kits available years ago. All right, there you go. Got the, the inside is uh, it's painted. It's not covering, it's painted. You got your dashboard up underneath here with the gauges and stuff on it. We'll put our little minion right here and, uh, and put the canopy on. And then this, something. Can't remember how it comes off. Magnets. It's got really strong magnets. There's a lip on the front of it that goes in there. You got a nice heavy duty fiberglass uh, tube for the wing tube to go through. I like that way better than the cardboard that comes in some of the cheaper ones. Looks like plenty of plenty of room in there to work. Uh, it's got a real nice heavy servo tray. Heavy duty magnets for the canopy. Um, and it's got uh, it's got cutouts on the sides right here for just your basic uh, switch. I don't use those side switches, so we'll leave the covering over that, and I'll just drop down just a little bit, or maybe move it up here. And I use the heavy duty bigger switches that's got. Uh, uh, the charge jack and a lot of times what I do when I have a plane with a canopy that comes on and off like uh, like I did on my uh, Genesis it's real easy to put your switch on the inside because all you gotta do is pop the canopy off turn it on put it back on so it, it leaves you without any extra bulk and stuff out here on the side of the plane it makes it look a little nicer the least amount of holes and stuff I can cut in one the better I like it uh, stickers are already applied to both sides be careful when you're using your heat gun if there's wrinkles around this. Be really, really careful because the decals will curl up on you. So do not put a lot of heat to those with an iron or a heat gun. Try to stay away from it. Like this little wrinkle right here, I'll hit that with an iron, but don't don't use your blow gun right on these because it will ruin the stickers. They'll just start wadding up. <clears throat> but here's here's how the old model. Well, you know what? The old model may have come with a cow, but the one Buddy had was just like this. Just had the, the wings out here on the front side. So maybe they didn't use the cowl, I don't know. So you can set it up either way. You can set this up with an open engine like a trainer, or you can put the cowl on it, which we're going to put the cowl on it. Uh, and I'm going to try, I think I'm going to mount my 62V four-stroke inverted to keep from cutting any of the cowl out. Because your engine basically has to mount up or down. You can't put it side, well you could if you want to cut all this off. But we're going to mount it inverted, uh, and I have a 90 degree elbow to put on there for the muffler. These little elbows are 30 bucks, but they're worth it. You can put your inverted engine down and put that elbow in there, and that way your muffler doesn't have to come through the side and out down here. It comes straight down and out the bottom. So no, there again, no more holes. And you can get those at Tower Hobbies. Uh, and when I build this, I'll put the link to those on here too. So got a couple little tiny loose spots. But, you know, this is general building on any ARF. You need to go over your covering with a hot iron and then a, a gun, you know, a heat gun on certain areas to make sure, especially trim parts, you don't want your, your little corners that are bad to come up. So always go over your uh, your trim and stuff with an iron and make sure it's all sealed down really good. Nice looking fuselage, built really nice and heavy. Uh, good solid wood. So, all right, let's put that back in there. <coughs> and you know what? That is the last thing that's in the box. So. Uh, guys and gals, I have the engine for this, I have my receiver, I have my servos, I have my battery, I have everything for it. So as soon as I get this Rifle 1M off the table, uh, which I'm going to work on tomorrow, then we're going to start on this SIG something extra because I can't wait for you guys to watch this fly. It is just an amazing plane and I would highly recommend it to anybody. Uh, even your, it, it floats in so good. It wouldn't even be that hard for a beginner to land, but I really wouldn't recommend it for a beginner. Like maybe throw, set your throws down real low. I'd basically start out with a top wing trainer or something first. But anyway, second or third plane, this this is awesome. It's very acrobatic, but yet very gentle at the same time. It's it's just amazing. One of the funnest planes I've ever flown in my entire life, and, I, and I've flown for nine years, and I've probably flown, God only knows how many planes I've flown, because I fly a lot for other people and do their maidens and stuff for them. For whatever reason, they have dubbed me the, the uh, test pilot at our club, and uh, it makes me nervous, but on the other hand, I kind of enjoy it too, because I do get to fly a lot of planes. But anyway, there you go, guys. Something extra will be on the table next, as soon as I get the rifle out of the way, and we'll get the build going on this, and I will do a full build series on it 
uh, for you guys too. So, all right, thanks for watching. See you on the tube, guys.